Alrighty, this is April, also known as Grandmama. Um, currently, I'm still living in the homeless shelter. Um, things are a little dicey sometimes, uh, as you could imagine, living in a homeless shelter. Uh, but anyway, God is good. Um, I'm trying to give you an update on what's going on. As you know by now, some some people that you know or might not know got a whole lot of food stamps. Somebody, I think, my friend said that she knows somebody that got like $10,000 because she got a bunch of kids. So anyway, uh, people have been spending their food stamps to the max. And uh, as a result of that, they have been creating havoc because they've been buying everything in the store there are no baskets uh for people to get things and then the shelves are basically bare i've been telling you this for a while there's going to be a, a national and international food shortage and um this is all a part of the plan of course they're going to get put huge amounts of Food, stamp on, food stamps on the cards so you can go out and spend all your food stamps on these things. And I'm hearing a lot of people are buying a lot of meat. Now here's the thing. What happens if your power goes out? Because if you didn't spend a uh, thousand and bought a thousand dollars worth of meat, what happens if your power goes out? All right, so I've been telling you to get non-perishable foods. Non-perishable foods. That means things that won't spoil, like canned goods, bottled water, things like that. Okay, so as I said earlier, this is all a part of the bigger plan to, uh, because there is going to be a famine. A famine, I, I'm sure you know by now, that uh chicken is gone up very very high and it's hard for you to like hypothetically if you wanted to get a wing or something like that it's getting harder to go to a kfc to get a wing or whatever like that because the stuff is is getting more and more scarce okay so what does that have to do with you all right, if you've been preparing like I've asked you to do and like so many others have asked you to do, it you won't be phased, okay? Although I did have a minor <laughs> I had a minor setback because I gave more to charity than what I thought I would be giving. <laughs> okay. Anyway, what I mean by that is I I was intentionally leaving them some of my when I, when I got evicted, I deliberately was leaving them uh, a bin of canned goods and stuff like that. But little did I know that the guys that moved me had emptied one of my major bins into a bag, and I didn't I didn't notice that until I got to the storage unit because I I left a few bags there. I'm like. I don't need that other stuff. It's probably closed, yada, yada, yada. So anyway, to my dismay, I'm like, where's my where's my huge food supply of canned goods? So apparently I left, uh, I was very charitable that day, needless to say. Okay, so let's get back to what's going on. Uh, the, the D variant. You know what I'm talking about, the thing, that thing there. Okay, apparently the people that, uh, now this is coming from a re reliable sources, also known as the first responders, like the nurses that see what's going on. Anyway, uh, they've noticed that the Delta variant is, uh, the people with it, they are the people that got already has had one or two of these things here. Okay, so uh, they're asymptomatic and they're the spreaders of DV. Okay, how about that? All this time they were mad at us. 
the non-Vs saying we were spreading stuff. The irony of it all. The irony, irony of it all. We ain't spread nothing. As a matter of fact, the people with the vaccinations are the ones that spreaded it. Okay? So, anyway, that's all a part of the bigger plan. This is Grandmama. Have a relationship with God. Hold tight to Psalms 91 and really mean it. Okay? Shalom.